All right, today I'm going to be showing you how um, to replace a drying element in a dishwasher. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you wanna do, since it does have power, you wanna come down or go to your electrical box. And here it says dishwashers on 13. So you find 13 and you'll wanna kill the power because you don't want electricity going to something that has water in it or when you're pulling it out, you don't want to electrocute yourself. So first thing, make sure you cut the power and then we'll go up and check and make sure the power is off to it and make sure it doesn't come on. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay, now what you can do here, make sure it's closed. See, nothing's happening. So that means the power is off. So now what we'll need to do is open it up and see what we can see underneath of it. Okay, okay, now what you have to do is undo these screws right there on the front. That way we can pull it out. And then that'll release it because it basically just sits in there. So let's do that. Okay, one thing I did forget to say, um, make sure you shut the water off, obviously, to it too. Because I've had to pull this clear out. Um, I did have to disconnect the wires because the wire wasn't long enough to come all the way out the water line and and uh, drain line is plenty long enough i didn't have to do anything with them i just well i did disconnect the water line because i didn't want the water going to it i turned off the valve and everything um but the discharge hose i just left it hooked up i didn't mess with it um these are the pieces you're wanting they have to be taken loose and these just they're just threaded on there um, so you've got to unplug these and remember which one goes which. You've got a striped one on this unit is on this side and then the red's on this side. So we'll uh, pop that out loose and then we'll stand this up and stick the new one in there and then we'll hook it all back up. Okay, got the old one out. Basically just got to maneuver it in place here. there and line it up with the holes and then stick it through and retighten it down that's pretty much all there is to that okay there they are um obviously don't over tighten them i mean but get them good and snug and then verify on the inside that it's laying flat down in there and that rubber seals in there good and tight and then make sure that these are on there good. So just plug on. And now we'll uh, hook everything back up and see if it works. Got to show you this real quick. Um, I have to run a little power line back through the little, into this little box. And it's basically black to black, white to white. And then there's a little ground screw down there which you add the bare copper to and that'll ground it out. Okay, well, the power came back on. Just uh, need to make sure that when you get done, run a cycle, make sure you don't have any leaks anywhere. If you do, you need to go back in there and tighten them up. But other than that, that should be it. 